hey, oh, sorry this took so long or whatever. So, to make a long story incredibly short, I got a new job right now. Working full time, gotta get those hours in, make ends meet, I'm sure you know how it is. But on top of that, I am also going through the process of moving again. I'm finally getting out of my apartment and moving into a small house with my partner. Speaking of which, I also have my partner Vi here today to help me out with this video. Hello! Because the whole point of this one specifically is that I'm not the one who did the redesigns here. That was all you guys. I put out a challenge to have you all come up with your own renditions of these FNAF characters, and I honestly could not be more pleased with the results I've gotten. I genuinely do appreciate those who took the time out of their lives to indulge me in this because I was frankly too tired and burnt out to make any more FNAF videos. With that, I'd like to give a special thank you to those who did participate and made it into the video, those being Fudge Nuggets 101 Drawsend, and Poopsie the Duck. Links to all their channels will be in the description below, however, if you guys specifically would like them taken off of there for privacy's sake, please shoot me a DM or a comment and I'll get to it ASAP. Alrighty. With that out of the way, let's just dive right into this, starting with Fudge's rendition of Nightmare Freddy. For Nightmare Freddy, I only had one major idea. I wanted the main focal point to be his chest stretching and tearing to reveal the Freddies within. My version of Nightmare Freddy is an empty shell, his body used as a breeding ground for his freddles. To feed into this idea, I gave him a cold, dead stare with a wide open maw. He has no control of himself, his body moving in irregular ways. And despite all of this, he still feels pain. His stomach is ripped open every hour to expel excess frettles, always healing in time for the cycle to start again. Honestly, if you want my opinion, I am in love with this idea for such a character. The idea of being nothing more than just a husk, with no actual control over yourself or your actions, yet still forced to be aware of everything that is happening to you, I think that is a genuinely terrifying idea. On top of that, your execution is just mm, chef's kiss. I genuinely wish that I could spend more time on this one, but unfortunately my man's is so modest that he didn't write all that much in his descriptions. But that's okay, because now I get to fill in that empty space with me gushing over how well you did. But I don't want to procrastinate and linger on any of these, because I do enjoy all of them. So let's go ahead and move on to Drossens's rendition of Nightmare Bonnie. First things first, I'd like to thank Grit for putting this project together. Zappy as it seems, one of my New Year's resolutions was to get back into drawing consistently, or at least more consistently than before. I also want to thank Fudge Nuggets for his enthusiasm and interest in this drawing in particular. This one admittedly got a little frustrating at points, but the support from Fudge and the other Discord members kept me going. I also want to specifically thank Presto for recommending me CapCut so I can finally get this monstrosity edited and ready for submission. Now let's get into the drawing. I don't know where the idea came from exactly, but at some point, I thought about stepping away from the gnarly scrapyard patchwork animatronics and moving towards something more realistic, or at least as realistic as I could manage, and uncanny. This is, of course, still an animatronic, but then I thought, what if it was made from organic material? The general inception for this version of Nightmare Bonnie came from the idea of taking one of those creepy rabbits from the 1978 animated Watership Down movie and putting it on an endoskeleton, which eventually became replaced with bones. As I sketched, I also drew from the Jabberwocks and the White Rabbit from American McGee's Alice and Alice Madness Returns, which you'll see later in the video that I color picked the White Rabbit's jacket and shirt from the video game model because I'm total acid color matching, only to then turn down the saturation because I felt like it was a little too much. I also drew a bit of the steampunk aesthetic from the Mad Hatter, which you can see in the gear, shoulder, and knee joints. I wanted Nightmare Bonnie to look like someone's first attempt at making an animatronic Frankenstein together, shoddily made gears, old clothes, and organic remains. I could definitely see something like this coming after me in a fever dream. I just hope we never meet. Speaking of never meet, let's move on to the next piece, Poopsie's rendition of Nightmare Chica. 
Chica was oddly quick to make. Once I chose the 4 direction, it clicked. 4 because it's creepy but also humorous, and Chica is known for eating tons of pizza as a fandom headcanon. I also based her design off of my normal Chica redesign, which has curly hair slash feathers and a cupcake dog. Also the eye belly button is based off of that one dragon from season 9, Fairly Odd Parents, which has eyes on its stomach so we can see what it ate. <laughs> okay, side note, I absolutely adore that little detail, and I pretty much picked this piece as soon as I read it. Honestly, even if the style itself couldn't necessarily be considered the grittiest or gnarliest, I genuinely love the creativity that went into this idea for Nightmare Chica. I don't think I would have been able to come up with something like this on my own, which is a big reason why I wanted to do this as a group project. Moving on, let's get right into Fudge's rendition for Nightmare Foxy. For Nightmare Foxy, I wanted a more intimidating feel, which I used as my basis for the design. He has a massive, rusted over hook that drags along the floor. His fur is patchy like he's infected with mange. His skin looks diseased. With these elements, I feel like I've made Nightmare Foxy a force to be reckoned with. I'll say you've absolutely made something that I certainly don't want to touch, like just Ew. If we got this version of Nightmare Foxy in FNAF 4, I feel like I probably would have been even more terrified of that game than I already was. It's rotten, it's foul, it's disease ridden, and I love it so much. Absolutely wonderful work on your part, cannot get enough of your stuff. Okay, here it is, the classic grit sliding in the middle of the video to advertise something. I'm just gonna make it short and sweet like the intro. So I got that new Dragon Ball video out recently, and I really want to be able to share that around and spread some more love for Toriyama in light of his passing. As soon as I heard about it, I really wanted to show my appreciation for the show by making these posters which are free to download. I want people to be able to like, print, and pin these up on their wall or somewhere. Honestly, I think it's more a matter of, I really did not show my love for Dragon Ball as much as I probably should have throughout my life. Dragon Ball and other things like it have been incredibly influential in my childhood, and I genuinely hope I can do more things like that going forward. So, if you would, please go check out that video, share it with your friends who also like Dragon Ball. It would be beyond appreciated. Alright, enough getting sidetracked. Let's get back into it with Draws and s I don't know how to say that. Rendition of the Gremlin Plush Trap. Rather than make Plush Trap an amalgamation of rabbit parts like my take on Nightmare Bonnie was, I decided to make Plush Trap an old rabbit doll forgotten and stashed away in a closet. There's this internet ritual, Hitori Kakurembo, or Hide and Seek Alone. Supposedly, it's a ritual originating from Japan wherein the player invites a ghost or demon to possess the body of a doll stuffed with rice and bound with red thread for a game of hide and seek. Given the nature of Plush Trap's minigame, I figured this would be a pretty solid detail to include. It's hard to make an adorable plush rabbit creepy, even when bound in red thread. So I gave it gashes on the torso and mouth, suggesting that this plush was forgotten about for quite some time. As an additional callback to the fun with Plush Trap minigame, I put it against the wall in the beam of a flashlight, suggesting that its game is about to begin. Have fun playing with this little guy, just don't get tagged. With that, let's move on to the next piece for tonight, Poopsie's rendition of Nightmare Fred Bear. For Nightmare Fred Bear, I based him off of the bite motif, including the belly teeth from the can of design and the idea that sometimes Fredbear is an animatronic and sometimes a custom mascot, thus the human features. For an extra cursed look, I put human ears on him. As for the red teeth, it's to imply blood without resorting to gore. As for the suit, its design is based loosely off of my AU Fredbear design. While I am personally unfamiliar with your design, I must say that I do love the look of the Stapper fellow. That and the sheer amount of mouths present on this monstrosity. I genuinely could not picture the end result of that thing tearing into you. 
probably what poor Thomas looked like in that one Baddington episode. What did he do? Honestly, I am in love with all of these redesigns. I adore each and every unique take that was made for this, and I honestly, seriously cannot thank you guys enough for helping with this. With that, let's go ahead and wrap up this with my rendition of the final animatronic, Nightmare. Oh, come on, it's not a gritty take if I don't at least do something myself, huh? Frankly, I just went real quick with my redesign, as I somehow didn't even take an hour to get it done. I figured I could at least do something myself for this, but I still didn't want to take away from the main focus of this video, which is all of your redesigns being showcased. Nevertheless, I still tried to make Nightmare look even creepier than his original counterpart. For starters, I wanted to go with a more organic look to the overall design, having the outer layer look more like saggy, loose skin that can barely contain the snarl it's giving, also giving plenty of wrinkles all over. I also wanted to keep the mouth on the stomach, but make the teeth much less uniform to give it that much more of a feral and monstrous vibe to it. I know that I'm kind of cheating here by having Nightmare essentially hiding behind a door in a video about redesigns, but listen, it's my video and I think it's scary, deal with it. All in all, this was a fun process to undergo. I enjoyed watching every video that came in and seeing everyone's different perspectives and styles. It really was a nice time. And with all of that, this is now done. Again, I don't think I could say it enough times, but thank you to everyone who participated in this. I'm sorry to those who made attempts and unfortunately didn't make it in, but who's to say that I can't do another project like this later on down the line, right? And again, until I'm told otherwise, you can find links to all the artists in the description below. You can also find a link to my partner's Twitch channel down there, and it would be highly advised if you went and checked them out. I will know if you didn't, and I will not be happy. Aggressive joking aside, I would absolutely appreciate it if you checked everyone else out. They have put a lot of work into this alongside me, and they deserve just as much love. Oh, and before I leave, I want to test this out myself. Subscribe. <laughs> Sweet. Anyway, I don't think I have much else to say here, so I'm just going to go ahead and go back to my napping corner. Check out everyone else, check out my Dragon Ball video if you want, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. What do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor? Lie in the morning, way high and up she rises, way high and up she rises, way high and up she rises, or lie in the morning. Shave his belly with a rusty razor, shave his belly with a rusty razor, shave his belly with a rusty razor, or lie in the morning, way high. High and up she rises, way high and up she rises, way high and up she rises, or lie in the morning. Put him in the long book till he's sober, put him in the long book till he's sober, put him in the long book. Oh, there's the train leaving. Ah, sick. <laughs>